How's it going guys? In this video, I wanted to regrettably inform everyone that I have officially sold my New Edge Mustang, my 2001 Ford Mustang GT that I loved so much. I put in a lot of TLC into that car. It was a blast. Um, that was actually my first stick shift car. I learned how to drive stick shift in this car specifically. Um, I had it for about six months. And in this video, I just wanted to go over how much I sold it for because I know uh, New Edge Mustangs and the price range that they're at, they're really affordable. They're really popular um, and they're still in high demand. So just so you know how much I sold this car for. So maybe if you're in the market for one or if you're curious as to how much they're going for, this is how much I sold mine for. So I just wanted to start off by saying I am really sad I sold this car. It was such a blast to drive. The stance was perfection um it was super nice i mean for what it is and for the price that i got it for so um just i want to be a, very clear about the numbers so i'm just gonna go through everything here so i actually bought the car in december of 2021 for about forty five hundred dollars forty five hundred dollars i negotiated the crap out of this car um it was really nice it had a bunch of new parts on it and all this stuff it did need some work I uh, got it um, to my house and then immediately drove it straight to the mechanic so that way it can get some stuff buttoned up. Um, I spent about like five, six hundred bucks um, at the mechanic just getting little things here and there that needed to be uh, buttoned up, replaced, uh, tightened, um, you know, oil change, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, after everything was gone through, um, I had like maybe like 5,200 bucks into the car. Um, it was a blast. I it was my daily driver for like um, you know a couple months. Um, I learned how to drive stick shift in it. Shout out to Steve, my neighbor, that taught me how to drive stick shift. Um, it was a blast. I got thumbs up everywhere I went. But then, unfortunately, I sold the car. Now I didn't have to sell the car, but I got my F one fifty, my uh, twenty eighteen uh, three point five liter EcoBoost F one fifty, and then that became my daily driver. And the Mustang kind of just sat there. Now, I do want to get another Mustang. And I already test drove some. And I'm going to go into that a little bit later. Um, but just to give you guys a heads up, if you're in the market for a New Edge Mustang, um, it is very hit or miss. Like, there's so many different uh, New Edge Mustangs out there. And they've gotten so old that it's to the point where, like, some of them have engine swaps. Some of them have so many parts replaced that it's just i don't know it you know they've traded hands like the car i had i think um it said it had like 18 or 19 owners something like that so they've traded hands so many times that you don't know what's been done to them so um the market is really hit or miss i would recommend if you're in the market for one just take it to a mechanic first thing you do um that way they can just look it over and tell you anything that you know is you know a red flag or anything like that um but the car i had um, it had a supposed, you know, new new engine, rebuilt transmission, um, and a bunch of stuff done to it. But basically, I had like 52, 5,300 bucks into it. And then I ended up just selling it recently for $7,500. Now, that is a steal. That is a blast. Um, I would definitely pay $7,500 for that car again in the future if I had to because it's a fun car to drive. And for, for the price... $7,500. Um, the guy that I sold it to was a really nice guy. You could tell he was into cars and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not sad about it. I made a little bit of money, which is kind of unheard of in especially modified cars. Um, it's really hard to do that. So I'm not sad about uh, what I sold it for. You know, 7,500 bucks is a really good deal for that car. Um, and uh, it was nice. So I'm really glad it went to a, to a good owner that I know is going to take care of it and, and drive it um, and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, $7,500 New Edge Mustang. And they're kind of going in that range. I mean, you can get like a really beat up one for like, you know, maybe five grand. Uh, you know, nicer ones are maybe in the 10 grand range. Um, but 7500 bucks is what I got for mine. And after I sold it now, I'm like, man, I want another Mustang. The F-150 with the 10-speed transmission is a blast to drive. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. I'm, uh, you know, has a cold air intake. I did the VTA mod on it, the Venta Atmosphere mod. 
and uh it's been it's been a blast to drive but it's not a stick shift mustang so now i'm getting the itch to get another stick shift mustang um i went to go drive actually two at my local like h greg like the you know big uh a dealership you know like high uh, volume dealerships and uh they were pretty fun i mean i drove i think one was a 2016 and one was a 2018 uh i think the 2016 was the orange one uh the stick shift one that one was a blast to drive i mean it was uh really fun with the with the stick shift Um, completely different than my 2001 New Edge Mustang. Um, you know, the shifts were super, super nice. Um, lots of power. It was fun. That sounds amazing. <laughs> And then I drove a white, I think that one was a 2018, the convertible. And it was fun to drive. I mean, it's still a Mustang, but I don't know, the automatic, it just, it doesn't feel the same when you're driving a Mustang. That stick shift transmission is an absolute must, uh, in my opinion. So definitely sticking to a stick shift Mustang. Um, I'm also looking at uh, GT350s, GT500s um maybe a new edge you know cobra or cobra terminator um there's so many options let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you think i should get as my next stick shift specifically stick shift mustang there's so many options out there so i've just been looking um i just started searching so i went to test drive these two the 2016 and the 2018 they're both the you know coyote 50 uh, Mustangs, uh, just one was stick shift, one was automatic, just so I can, you know, compare the two on the same day. And I definitely have to tell you guys the stick shift one hands down, it was so much more fun to drive. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, uh, doing a couple more test drives and just seeing what's out there. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should buy as my next stick shift specifically, uh, Mustang. So, um, uh, no uh new gt500s because those are all automatic not that i would get one anyways because they're i in my opinion they're just way too overpriced right now so uh, maybe when the hype dies down a little bit and they come down in price maybe we'll look into those but i really want a stick shift mustang um i want to test drive a gt500 maybe like a 2011 2012 just because the 2013 2014s are ridiculously uh uh high priced right now um they just go for that much more um but like a 2011 2012 would be nice gt500 or maybe an 0304 uh terminator cobra we'll see let me know what you guys think too in the comments below on the price that i sold my 2001 mustang for do you think it was too low too high just priced right do you think i uh gave it away um i think you know i it may be a little bit low i could have gotten maybe a couple hundred bucks more but I think uh, right around what um, I sold it for was, you know, it was a fair price. It's not overpriced, but it was it was a good price, good deal. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you pay 7,500 bucks for my 2001 Mustang? I'm gonna miss that car so much. I am so sad, but on to bigger and better things. Maybe I uh, should get a two valve with a supercharger on it. I don't know. Um, so I don't know, there's so many options out there and we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.